I think from about the 1950s in particular, with uh, the, uh, the arriving of Georgia Harkness to the faculty, it shifted uh, sort of the mission and focus of Garrett uh, away from strictly a theoretical to a more practical application. Georgia Harkness was uh, one of the, the leading theologians and of course one of the, the first woman theologian uh, for the faculty. And I think since then, it's been reworked into our DNA, this, uh, this emphasis not just on the theoretical or the, the, uh, the theoretical model, uh, but also on the practice of the faith, a practical theology. And I would say that that is uh, one of the hallmarks of a Wesleyan theology. And so from about uh, uh, the 1950s until now, there's been this emphasis on practical theology. And I think for our students to learn that is to realize that when you come to Garrett, you're not just uh, uh, preparing for uh, the theoretical practice of ministry, but it really does focus on the practice of ministry, which is ultimately contextual. <laughs> and learning how to practice ministry in context of wherever the student ends up. Uh, I also think that uh, as a matter of, of context, it's not just a matter of space, uh, uh, it is also a matter of time, that every generation has to work out for themselves the relevance of the Christian gospel, of the gospel of Christ, not just to a specific space, but to a particular time. And when you combine those elements of time and space, I think we've always done a pretty good job at communicating not just the content of theology, but the way of doing theology to our students.